so field source in last example we have seen how to create the templates in that temp that section uh, in the template when you create a field there is a there is a property called source okay and in last video i told you the source can be changed as per the data type okay we will see today what uh, how it will change we will take some examples okay and this 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 might be coming if you are doing a psycho certification this question may come in this psycho certification also in interviews also people people does ask this question regarding the use of the source okay so let's take an example like i have taken this uh, uh taken this template and here i use the list image and rich text okay so if you see the list uh, i uh, i i have used a multi list here and have given some path okay this is the content tree path so in the color you have, I have a list of a colors like right? red blue okay so this is the this is the first example we will take so for the list field like drop link multi list and tree list the source field which you apply is is act as a location of the source okay location of the data okay uh, so what i mean by the location of the data is like uh, you if you are using a drop link multi list or tree list you are actually showing some list so for that list what is the source so here you see the slash color is actually a source so once we apply this and if you create an item you will uh, find something like this okay so list field where you will have all the items which is under the color so blue green red will come and you can select it okay so this kind of a field you can use uh, use uh, the uh, uh, source field for this purpose as a data source okay then image okay now if you see image i have given site for media library slash default website okay for the image or a file type it is the start folder displayed in the media library so generally when you have an image in the content item or a file you have a content in the content item you have a browse field once you browse it actually opens a media library now you want to restrict that to some folder like i want to restrict this for this image i want to restrict it to the default website then i can provide that path here so that it will get restricted so if you, uh, if you apply this then in the in the uh, item when you browse it you, it will open the default website and you can select a data from this folder also. okay then we have a rich text and this is the unique one and you might find the question in the uh, site for certification or in the interview from for the rich text only okay so rich text is nothing but your html editor right so in site code in the for the html editor there are multiple options for the interface okay so those into options you can specify in the uh, uh, in the source field. okay so like uh, there are four options in the rich text of rt so if you see i have taken a four field here rich text default and i have given the path as a site code system setting html editor profile slash rich text default so it will give you the default path of the default of what is a default view of the default menu of the rich text so something like this okay where it will have a minimum uh, or a default of uh, a default menu so then you have a rich text pool okay for rich text pool i have given here option as a rich text pool in this case you will see all the menus if you see a lot of menus compared to your default one okay so for that you can give the rich text pool okay if you have a, a text id you will have you will see the rich text editor like this and you have a medium like this okay so basically a rich text is something where you what kind of a functionality which you want to allow to contain editor to pop up okay so depending on that you can provide this option okay uh, so this is this is about the source field and one of the one of more one of the uh, more use of a source field is the uh, you 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 if you see here we, are, we all are the static field okay what i mean by static if you see a color i have given a static value if you want to use a dynamic uh, values like it can be depending on some condition that value can change then you can use uh, uh, the queries okay in side core you have a side core query and fast query so you can use those queries for the getting the path okay so this is how you will use the field source